Let's leave Hyrule Town. Now, I think you might have seen this in the last episode, but up here is Tingle, of all people. And you can talk to him. That green crap and green clothes. Are you perhaps a fairy? I knew it! I knew it! Tingle wants to be a fairy too. Actually, I have some kinstones, you know. Hey, Mr. Fairy, shall we try to fuse kinstones? Do you want to? Do you? Sure thing. And we only need green ones for this, but this is going to be really good um, if we complete this little side quest, so... And this will open up... Um, Ooh! Awesome. Okay, so the next Tingle guy is... Um, let me see here. Okay. So I want to head to... Hold on a second. I want to head off to uh, Lake Hylia. For this next Tingle. There are three other Tingles, although they have different names, but... They all scatter around uh, the world here, so... First I want to visit this cave. See if we can get something here. Yeah, I think... Yeah, there's a... One of those mysterious walls here, so... Few skin stone pieces, but you... And these Gorons are going at it. And yeah, the wall is tough. Don't give up, Gorons! You can do it! Oh, and there comes another one. Awesome. Yeah, it's kind of slow to watch this. This is obviously not the last time we're going to see this scene, so... Um, this guy is the... I, I said they were called like likes, but they're actually called rupee likes, uh, which I think is a kind of a dumb name. So probably just gonna call them like likes. But anyway, um, here we are again. So we need to head up to Lon Lon. No, yeah, Lon Lon Ranch. Go through here to get to the the side that Tingle is on, or whatever his name is. I'm just gonna call them all Tingle, whatever. I mean, they look the same, they just have different colors, so... And I'm also going to go ahead and dive into this little pond right here, because we have another heart piece. Yay, three already. And the other tingle should be down here. Whoops. Yeah. So this is the White Tingle, or David Junior. Junior. So another path will open up in a tree. Cool. I wonder where this is going. You could check it out now, but there's no point to it. So by the way, if if you're, um, you know, if you're swimming around like this, you can't just go up anywhere you want to, which is kind of ridiculous, I think, so, like this heart piece, you can't get it now, so, you need to find, like, these places, or shallow water to be able to, like, get up on land again, which can be quite annoying, but I guess they had to do that, so, now, um, I'm just gonna go down here, there are some things we can do, such as get yet another heart piece, and that's the fourth one. So we now have 12 hearts, which is awesome. Get up here, and we have another little tree hut. And guess what? Another heart piece. As well as, an, as another um, trainer. Wave blade. Train with me, I will teach you a skill to make you a master. So we'd like trainer, yes. Now you learn a dangerous technique for desperate times, the peril beam. First, you must have only one heart left. Second, use your last ounce of strength to swing your sword. Ounce. That's how you pronounce that. I think. So yeah, this is a very... Not a very useful move. I mean... Because you need to be at one heart in order to use it. But it's basically just a sword beam. 
So, yeah. So, he will get rid of all our life. And there we go. Alright. Peril beam. Good stuff. Well, as, as I said, it's not very useful, but still. It will be better when we get the real uh, um, sword beam, if we do get it. Okay, so the next tingle is in Lon Lon Ranch, so we're very close. Just need to go into this cave here and do this again. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of something I can spend my money on, because we're going to get a whole bunch of money here, but... I, I'm not even sure. I, I'm, I just don't know what that uh, bomb bag upgrade is. I, I have no idea, actually. Ankle. I noticed today, because um, I was practicing this earlier today, and, you know, I got, got back into the cave where we got the power bra bracelet, because there's that heart piece that, you, that was in there. And again, in the walkthrough, you know, it said, well, you can you can get it, like now, when you have the flippers, but I can't. So there must be some kind of version differences or something. I didn't know there actually were any. But perhaps there is. I'm, I'm not sure. Right, so the last tingle is in the Trial by Highlands. So I'm just going to head over there. And we can take care of some other stuff while we're there as well. So that would be nice. So, well first let's take care of this cave here. Oops. And we get a kingstone piece. And there's a mold on here. Ow. And I wonder if there's a mysterious wall here. No, there isn't. But there is a fairy's pond, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab another fairy. Aha! So yeah, I mean, we do get a, a, a kinstone piece, so it's worth it. You know, to fuse with that girl. Okay, now, yeah, we need to get up here and into one of these caves again. First, let's head up here, get some treasure. What could it possibly be? A kinstone piece. And another one. And I do think we have a mysterious wall here, so... Yes, we do. I wonder what's gonna happen. So, they're obviously gonna get yet another companion and break through. Yay! He wants stone. Awesome. Yay! They're through, finally. Okay. So let's head up the ladder and we can talk to the blue tingle. Or his name is Knuckle. And that opens up the fourth and final tree around these parts. Awesome. So you can also check out, there's like a Minish living there, but he doesn't really have anything interesting, I don't think. I'm gonna... I'm not, I'm not gonna bother, so... He doesn't say much anyway. And I think his uh, Kinstone Fusion is just a low level one, so... Oh. Oh, this is fine.
Alright, so up here are those trees that we saw. So let's see what's going on here. Ooh. So we get 200 mysterious shells and light a lantern. So now we just need to do that three more times. As well as get some more treasure. Light that lantern. And we get a red kingston piece, and you can see that there's a big chest there in the middle, so... I wonder what's in it. Right, get up here. Do this. Down here. Light the torch. Get another red kingston piece. Picking up a lot of those. I'm not really getting a lot of green ones, but I guess it's okay. It's good to stock up on them too, because you know they can give an additional rupees or mysterious shells and whatnot. So, and there we go. And that just laddie just came down from the ceiling. Awesome. Another kingstone piece. All right. So now there is a hole in the middle here. So let's go and see what the treasure contains. We get. The magical boomerang! Awesome! Yay! Now we can actually steer this thing. It works if you've played uh, Oracle of Seasons. It works just like that boomerang. Throw it and then you can steer it. So, you can go in all kinds of crazy angles. It's not as easily uh, easy to control, I think, as the one in um, Oracle of Seasons, but that's fine. Alright, so now I'm gonna head to Mount Krennel. There we go, because we do have some stuff to take care of up here as well. You know, I realized that I could have fused with uh, Mellory now instead of later uh, or earlier, you know, that I did a couple of episodes ago. Would have been easier to do it now since I'm going like in the same, ge I'm in the same same general area anyway. So, but oh well, we can fuse uh, Kingston pieces with this guy. Let's go ahead and do that. pieces seem to be quite rare. Ooh, Caster Wilds. Yeah, we'll get there shortly. We still have other stuff to do, so... Awesome. Okay, but we're not done yet. We need to go back to the Great Wall once again and climb up it. Because if you remember, I pointed I pointed it out when we were, uh, you know, scaling this mountain the very first time, where the hermit lives. There was a there was one of those mole caves there. So I'm gonna go and take care of it now. Yeah, let's hope no boulders hit me. Because that hurts. Come on now, Link. You can climb a bit faster, can't you? I guess not. Ow. Alright. So here we are. See, we're, we're going here anyways. I could have climbed the beanstalk now, but whatever. Just another routing option for next time I play this game. Alright, so what do we have here? We have Choo Choo's. As well as a bunch of Moldorms. This is a pretty big cave, actually. So let's see. Do we have anything up here? Well, yeah, we have the heart piece. I know I don't need to kill you, but I'm going to kill you anyway. So, Yay! Another piece of heart. Did he drop? Yeah, he did. Awesome. Great stuff. Alright, let's move on. Get through here. I don't care if I get hit by this guy because, I don't know, avoiding him seems not impossible, but just about. Uh, of course, check the northern walls. See if there's anything there. Ah, we have a bunch of choo-choos here. 
And I think up here we have what we're looking for, so... Yes, we do. Another mysterious wall. I wonder what this one wants. Oh, now they're working on an even bigger wall. But they have a treasure chest there. Awesome. And another one comes. I wonder where they come from. Yay! It's another five. But it's not enough. So obviously there's one more of those mysterious walls somewhere. I actually don't know where, but we'll find it. We'll find out about it in due time. For now, let's just head out here, and we're gonna leave Mount Creno. So I'm gonna call my birdie again, and we're heading off to Minish Woods. Um, there we go. All right. So the first thing I want to do is to head into the village and we're gonna fuse kinstone pieces with one of the minish here. Not you, Elder. But a guy that lives uh, around these parts right here. And we can actually fuse with this guy three times, so... Uh, Make sure you have them kinstone pieces ready. So first we get a little uh, leaf here in Caster Wilds. Great. No, I don't want to play the ocarina. Get out, get back in, and we're gonna fuse again. And good thing I have the pieces he's looking for. If I didn't, that would have been a problem. And we get another little uh, leaf going over there now. Interesting. So these all lead to um, like kinstone pieces, but there is something else we can get um, by using these uh, whatever they're called the leaves. I'm just going to call them leaves. And there is the third one. So, that's awesome. Yay! They fit perfectly. Alright. So, let's just get out of here. But we still have some something else that we can do here. So, um... Now that we have the flippers, we can actually swim around in this water as well. Even as a minish, we can. Which is cool. So, first get in here. We have three caves here. Well, they're actually all the same cave, but, you know, three different entrances. Let's take care of these guys. Here's the kingstone piece here. You can see the heart piece there. We also have another little... Uh, Kinstone piece in here. Awesome. I like these caves, as I said before. Oh, this one's a bit tricky. We have ice. Don't hit me. So, we need to be very careful, because otherwise that will happen. Yeah, the ice uh, in this game is particularly annoying for some reason. Yeah, it's really slippery. Uh, and I do, I, my memory says that there are, you know, a couple of these minish caves that, you know, has a whole bunch of you know, uh, ice and spikes and stuff, and it's just kind of, they're kind of difficult, as I said before. If memory serves. But just be careful here and you'll be able to get out, no problem. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go, just take it easy, Link. We don't have to rush just because we're on camera. There we go. Alright. 
So let's head back and get back to our normal size here. Um, let me see here. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm stopping. I'm just trying to look at the list that I have. There's just a lot of side stuff to do in this game. And I by no means memorized it all. So... Let's wait for this bomb to go up. There we go. And now we're gonna fuse with this guy. That we, we talked with him before, I think. But I just wanna fuse kinstones with you. Thank you. And we have another beanstalk. Awesome. Yay! Great. So let's go and go ahead and climb up that thing. Because it's just, you know, north of here, so. Awesome. 